The objective in the elimination method is to pick one variable and get the variable to have the same coefficient with opposite signs in the two equations. So I'm going to start with the first equation, then add the x to the other side. Now it's in the same format as the second equation. Now if I multiply by negative 4, I can try and eliminate the y variable. Because notice how the y variable has negative 4 and positive 4 in the two equations. But the thing that happens here is when I try to add the two equations to eliminate the y's, I end up eliminating both variables. When that happens and both variables are eliminated, now you just have to check to see if you're left with a true or false statement. Since 0 equals 0 is true, that means it's infinitely many solutions. If it was 1 equals 0 or some other false statement, it would be no solution. Now, to come up with the ordered pair solution, since there is a solution, I need to let x equal a arbitrarily for some number a. Now if I plug that back into equation 1, I'll have what y equals. So there you have it. The ordered pair solution is x equal to a and y equal to negative a plus 3. And the graph is on the right hand side.